Agent down. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. How's it going? Hey, buddy. Let me give you a high five. Give me five, bro. Give me five, bro. Don't be like that. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Rogue agent eliminated. You went out like a G. Agent final signs zero. What's going on, everybody? It's Shogun, and today I got a little. Uh, kind of a little funny video for you guys. Uh, I was playing in the dark zone and there was one other guy in there and we just decided to do a one-on-one -on -one duel. It was kind of funny how everything happened. Um, uh, but at first I wanted to show y'all what I was rocking in this video. It's not really that much of a massive build or anything. You know, um, as you can see, no, I really just went armor and health just for the um, just for the beta sake. Uh, when the full game comes out, I will have full game builds on my channel, uh, in game builds and everything for my channel because I am going skill build and I will let y'all know what type of armor I have. But <clears throat> I wanted to let y'all know um, when you're going in the dark zone, uh, an extended mag is a must. Right here. Uh, it's hard to get to it right here. You want to always run extended mag 30 extra rounds um, With a knock on rate of fire. It is okay because for most of you don't uh, have it or most of you do know that You're not you're less likely to melt somebody With just one round or you're less likely to finish somebody off with one magazine <clears throat> Which is you know 30 rounds in your assault rifle so I've come to the conclusion that when running an assault rifle, you want to run um, an extended mag. It helps out a lot. And I'm coming to like the police M4 replica. I'm saying it is not as strong as the other uh, assault rifles. But if you add, if you look at the rate of fire with the magazine capacity, you could possibly make a pretty dangerous um, loadout with the police M4 with uh you know some armor that comes through but this is all when you know the full game comes out this is just a little heads up i also wanted to let you guys know that i'm really trying to build a community for this game or even just a community period where people can come together and you know we can just talk about things whether it be the division or life or anything so what i want you guys to do is links will be in the description I want you to join my Discord channel. I have a section in my Discord j strictly just for the Division 2 where you can talk about builds, where you can recruit people for when the raids come out. You can recruit people for raids. And it's not just closed down to PlayStation 4. It's for PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Um, <clears throat> I have spots where you, where you can show off your screenshots, your media, um, post your YouTubes up there and everything so uh the link will be in the description for my discord i also have a twitch channel where i will be streaming the division two on my twitch channel um showing off a couple of builds and stuff there showing out that the twitch channel will be more like the process of me you know getting my build together and then posting on youtube the like the final the final product of the builds but both of those links will be in the description um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a, a thumbs up. Um, if you enjoy my content, please subscribe. Uh, tell your friends. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later on. Peace. Medical assistance needed. Agent incapacitated. Agent killed. Rogue agent.
agent neutralized. Can't go rogue. I know where he is too. Nearby agent has become rogue. Come on, bro. What you want to do? I like that, baby. DZ drop in frame. Buddy, oh, shit. Ah, damn. <laughs> Agent killed. Ah, man, that's bullshit. Rogue protocol initiated. A shade agent has claimed the dark zone drop. Boy, hey man, hey them headshots, man. They they critical, bro. They critical. I had to use one of them uh, armor things, or I could um use my drone to heal. Mine is OP, I tell you.
status active. Thank you. 